In this video, we are going to see if you create a part and then for example place it in your circuit and then suddenly realize that a particular thing in your part is wrong, like a pin number is wrong or it has been named improperly or you have completely missed a pin and you need to go ahead and make modification to the part that you have created, then how do you modify that part and then propagate the changes to all the instances which you have in the schematic already. So let's suppose that the 8284 part that we created has a pin missing which is pin number 19 and let's say that it's named as new pin. So we need to add that because we forgot that. So we would go back to the view in which we were uh, creating and or editing that particular symbol and what we would do is we would again put a new pin that would be named as new pin. The pin number would be 19 and let's for arguments sake suppose that it's of the type output and we do a OK and we would place it here. So now you have a new pin on your schematic symbol and we save it. If we go back to the 8284 circuit schematic page, we see that the instance which we put on the page has not gotten updated with that new change. So how do you do that? The way that you do that is you go to the sample project tree view and then this design cache. If you expand this, you would see that all of the different instances of things you have put on on each of these pages, they are in here. Now locate the one which you just modified or edited. So for us, it is this sample project 8284A. You select that and right click on that. You would see that there's an update cache on there, choice on there. Hit update cache. It would tell you that you cannot undo whatever you do here. So that is fine. So you just do a yes. And then it would ask you whether you want to update the selected parts in the design cache. You also do a yes in here. Then it prompts that it would save your entire design and asks if you want to continue. So do a yes on here as well. Once you are done going through those processes, if you go back to 8284 circuit page, you will see that the new pin is now available for you to work with. Now, since this is not actually part of the circuit, let's just repeat that process and take that out. So we select the pin and then we delete it. We save the part. Since it has changed again, we go to the sample project, update cache, do a yes, yes, and yes. And when we go back to the 82, 284 circuits page we are back to where we were. So that's about how you modify a part and then propagate that change through all the instances that are there in the circuit of that particular part. So in the next video we would see how uh, we wire this up so that we have some inputs coming from other pages, some outputs going to other pages as well as portions of the circuit inside the page drawn elsewhere and then joined together. So we'll see you in the next one.